Today, smartphones have a multitude of receivers and transmitters in them. Bluetooth, ultra-wide band, various kinds of Wi-Fi, and several generations of cellular connectivity, including the all-important 5G connections needed for high-speed and reliable communications on the move. All these radio technologies must coexist in a small device engineered to be as compact as possible. They must also get along with other communication technologies that use adjacent wavebands, such as TV broadcasting and aircraft radar. Different technologies are allocated different wavelength bands, so device makers must ensure any radio frequency transmissions adhere to strict regulatory limits and don't interfere with their neighbours. If the adjacent technologies use small amounts of spectrum that are widely spaced, like this, there's less chance of interference. But as regulators release more spectrum and the frequencies become more crowded, the risk increases. To help keep transmissions within their allotted frequencies, device makers use components known as microacoustic filters. They convert electrical signals into acoustic waves that travel across a piezoelectric layer to reduce extraneous frequencies before the signal is converted back into a radio frequency signal. In this way, the output is shaped to conform better to the desired frequencies. A good example of this in action can be seen in the block of airwaves between 3.3 GHz and 5.3 GHz. Within this range operate two channels of 5G, aviation radar systems and Wi-Fi communications. Around 5 GHz, 5G channel N79 butts up against Wi-Fi channels. These signals are tightly packed and proper filtering is needed to discern signals and avoid RF interference. By using microacoustic filters, transmissions can be shaped, reducing the risk of interference. Of course, in reality, filter chips aren't perfect. They don't produce the regular shapes seen in this illustration. Here's a typical profile of a surface acoustic wave filter, just to show how much the real world deviates from the theory. As airwaves become even more crowded and our need for high speed and reliable communications grows, higher performance microacoustic filters can improve this profile. This in turn leads to longer battery life thanks to more efficient transmissions, fewer dropped connections, and the creation of devices that operate on multiple frequencies simultaneously. And the work doesn't stop there. Leading chip makers like Qualcomm are refining the performance of microacoustic filters even further, building fences for the good of the whole neighbourhood. <laughs>